for those who have been seeing me come in and out. I've gained a tag, so I think it's time to introduce myself. I'm Shomita. And as you can see, the founder of Zeneca Inclusive Fashion. And every single time I say that, people ask me, what is inclusive fashion? I really hope one day I don't have to explain it. But till then. So uh, let me just go back a little bit. And let me tell you what happened around one and a half, two years ago. I met someone who, a little girl, around 12 years old. And she said, I want to be like you. I've never felt that kind of pressure in my life before. And that was the day I grew up. This boy is nine years old. After growing up, I needed inspiration. He gave it to me. Uh, I think that was this April. This April, his mother, Gayatri, she called me and she said, Vivan needs to go to school. Now, I have never spoken to Gayatri before. I haven't heard of her. She found my number through a friend. And I thought, why is she calling me for schooling? So she said that I need him to be able to use the bathroom while in school. He is nine years old with a spinal cord injury, a 100% wheelchair user. COVID happened two years. He was in at our home, so we could handle it. Before that, he was seven. His body size was manageable. Right now, if he can't find an easy way to use the toilet, we will have to get him out of school. And homeschooling is our only option. So when she called me, I was myself in the hospital. Some people think it's my second home. I keep going there. So I said, look, I cannot uh, do anything from here. I can probably tell you what to do if that helps. She said, no, we want you to do it. We'll wait. Then she gave, uh, sent me uh, the school uniform so that I get the colors right. I've never done school uniforms. I don't even know where to get the uh, fabrics from. So I went back home from the hospital. I myself don't know how the fabrics finally got to me because I had to really hound them. It looks very simple, but it's not. You would think everybody has a yellow uh, your color shirt as a uniform. And finally, when I gave it to him, he went to school with this, and he told his teachers something that changed my life. He said, first and foremost, he's nine years old. He has no business reading the alchemy, but he did. And he told the, his teachers, that the universe conspired to send Shomita Didi to me. She's the gift I needed. And when I heard that, for Ivan, when I heard that, I thought that I have no excuse to not continue doing this because I've been doing this for nearly three years now. And I can tell you, the first two, two and a half years, I kept uh, wondering. It's, it's tough, right? Every morning you wake up and you wonder, what the hell are you doing? And there would be someone or the other who would motivate me. There would be a 47-year-old guy who would say, thank you for the jeans you gave me. I've never worn one before. And now I feel like a cowboy. He had cerebral palsy. He was in a wheelchair. It's tough to get into jeans. There was a 36-year-old woman who wanted to feel good and sexy. And for the first time, she could wear a sari. And she said, thank you for that. And now I feel like a part of the festival, the Diwali at my home. Tiny doses of motivation kept me going. But Vivan changed all of that. Vivan made me feel I can't let him down. Because there was this one time when his mom probably mentioned that I'm not well. And he said, can you please ask her to get better soon? Because there's so many people like me. And also, uh, next year I would need full pants. This is a half. 
A few days later, his mom called me and she said, for the first time, Vivan wanted to go to the zoo. And he said, now that I have these kind of pants, I can go out, I can drink water, I can use the bathroom, I have all the hours to myself. I can tell you something, when he said he can go to school, he can continue schooling, I felt great. But when he said he wants to go to the zoo, I, f I, I don't know how I felt. Because it felt like I was helping someone live a dream, a dream he didn't even, uh, I'm sorry, I'm so emotional. A dream he never even thought he had, or, or maybe he knew, but he never verbalized. And that's what happens a lot of times, right? Uh, where is the next person? Yes. Uh, this is Ollie, 27. Where's my clothes? Sends me these pictures and she says, for the first time I feel sexy. How many of wants to be loved? Raise of hands. Whoa! How many of wants us to be in a nice romantic relationship? Raise of hands. Wow, I mean, that, that went down quickly. Uh, she did. I do. So, for once she felt like she can go out there, she can date people because she felt sexy. And I felt I've done it. Um, investors come in and they ask me, how many people's lives have you changed? Uh, what's the market size? I for the first few times, I kept rambling data, 15%, 2%, 2.3%, 2 so many millions. And then I said, you know what? I have Ollie who feels sexy and now she wants to date people. I don't think I need to come up here and explain myself a thousand times. Uh, you have not worked as fast as we expect startups to. Uh, have you thought of closing? No. Why should I? Why should I when Vivan wants me to get better and get back at work? It's taking longer. And just Firoz, he said that, right? It's context. Of the two years that I ran, nine months was in hospital, cumulatively. So every time I worked hard and I put it up here, the momentum, it will go right back the moment I got admitted in a hospital. The minimum time I spent in a hospital was five weeks. The maximum three and a half year, months. That kept happening. So the business momentum goes up, goes down, goes up, goes down. And there are people who kept saying, do you need more money? Do you need this? I mean, of course, who doesn't need money? I need money. But what I needed more, and I knew that, was people. I have a very, very strong belief. And if there's one thing that I have learned in my 40 years is this, one plus one is never ever, listen to me carefully, it's never, ever two. I'm not asking you to forget your math, but bear with me. One plus one is either zero, because when two people come together and they collide, they don't do anything. Much worse, it can be negative, they destroy. But when two people, with all their hearts, with all their minds, walk towards something with all the right intentions, it has to be 11. It has to be 111. And I'm a private limited company. My bank, uh, my balance sheets are almost public, so you guys can just check out and see how much I earn, and it's not much. But I've earned people. And there's nothing in the world, I will say, that tops that. One of my clients, so this is homegrown startup right? I started when I was in bed. I couldn't move. I couldn't turn in my bed by myself. I needed my mom. My mother has decided to be right here, but at the, in the background. And that's how she's always been, in the background. And for all those who understand how strong backgrounds need to be for the foreground to shine, you know who she is and how important she is. So my mom would turn me in bed, feed me, because I couldn't open my mouth. And that's when I thought, oh, you know, a lot of things I can't do. But I refuse to go through pain every single day just to wear my clothes, something that human beings have made. 
So I put my foot down there. And then I started finding my solutions because Google couldn't help me there. Uh, and when I did, I said, it's just not fair. So I'm not trained in design and all that. I'm trained in public policy. And my public policy brain kicked in. And it said, if you have a good idea, it's only worth if it goes to more people. If more people benefits, not just you. And that's when I wanted to start the business. And everybody said, oh, you know what? You're not able enough. I'm like, OK, fair enough. And now you can see me standing, right? And I'm kind of dancing around the stage. And now a lot of people say, you're not disabled enough. I'm like, problem kya hai, yaar? So, you know, uh, Zenica really started, uh, that's more of Ollie. So that's my dad. That was the first thing I ever, actually, my sister did that for me. We styled a skirt, and we styled the scarf, and I think I kind of felt sexy after being wrapped in. This, this is an important thing for me. The last six months have been incredibly difficult. And I thought I was making mistakes all the time at every step. And for some reason, somebody said, you know, meditate through your problem. And when I did, I could see this is Tagore's manuscript. And I could see that, you know, there are little scribbles out there, the mistakes he made. And then he turned them into art. In my meditation, Tagore just said, you will make mistakes, but just make sure you don't stop there. You make all your mistakes turn to art. The clothes that I'm wearing today, <laughs> uh, they're actually, this, this top, this is a mistake. Uh, this is one of my failed attempts at making adaptive, accessible clothes. I decided to change a little things and make it into art and wear it myself. Sorry, I'm skipping through because somebody says time is up. But this is important. Uh, I said one and one, 11, 111, and I think it can be infinite, and I don't know the answer yet. I wanted people to join me, right? I didn't know how to do that. But I remembered something that happened to me a few years back when I was really sick, and all I could do was connect with an online community. There was someone I didn't know whose name I was hearing for the first time, and she was heartbroken. As usually, a guy broke her heart. There's no, no, no surprises there. And uh, she said, I don't know, like, why can't people love me? I didn't know her well enough to say that people would, or, or people do, rather. But I did have the confidence, and I knew her enough to say that she's lovable. She was not happy with that. So I just said, you know what? If you need love in your life, I honestly don't know how you get it, but I know one thing. There's one more way of getting love in your life, and that is to give it. So let's just start giving it. And when I wanted people in my life to make my one plus one 11, I didn't know how to go about it. So I thought, okay, let me start with what I can give. And that's what I always follow. Do what you can with what you have but just do it now. So at this moment, I decided to start a website because e-com businesses need websites. And I dedicated a page, and including my product pages and my services. I didn't even have services, so I created a services pages. And I invited other people to be on board. I said, I'm going to push my website anyway so that people come on it. But why should they only learn about me? Why not of all the other people out there? This is just the beginning. It's not just five people. Anyone, if you want to be there, please let me know. You will be up here. And you're the first person I voted, Aramse. Aramse started a year and a half back, also on adaptive clothing, accessible clothing. And the entire world started telling me, you now you have a competitor. I'm like, I'm not even sure what that word means anymore. I think let's collaborate. Let's have one plus one. Uh, Aramse is run by Ashima. Ashima has her own brand too. And I called up Ashima and I said, hey, what's up? And she said, oh, good to talk. And then we said, let's do something together. And we keep making plans, but she lives in Kerala, I live in Kolkata. Uh, but Zoom has helped us. And I told Ashima, Ashima, I want to do this together. And she said, yeah, anytime. So the first person I onboarded on my website are is someone who the whole world thinks is my competitor, but I can tell you, she's the best collaborator I have. Thank you so much. I hope to have all of you. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you.